In this YouTube video, I'm going to go over user forms a little bit. Uh, so basically, when you click here, it shows this is a list box and this is a cancel button. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to add in values uh, into the list box. So right now I have two names here. So you could select a specific part of a worksheet in a workbook and then just type in a name. And then if someone clicks up here and then clicks there, it obviously goes over to that name, wherever it is. So be like, uh, click over here, be like here. And then you go here and it goes over there. And so that's a quick way to navigate in Excel workbooks. But basically if you go up to here in formulas and name manager, so this is my student list. It's uh, the entirety of column A. Um, so now um, I'm going to go to the view code. So basically in here, I selected insert and user form to get this user form one up here, here. And I did insert and module. And I got this command button on here by going over here to developer and then insert. And I drew it like that. And then I double clicked it here. And the code I wrote for this uh, click event is userform1.show, which shows this user form here, which I inserted already. And on this user form, I clicked view and I went to toolbox. And over here, if you click the mouse, it lets you select drag objects. And if you have the properties window down here, then you can see the name of the object. So when you click them, so I click here, this is called this box one. Uh, similar to how this is called user form one. So over here, listbox one dot value equals student one, then something happens with this if statement. So if I go to user form one, um, if you click on cancel, here's the name of this one, it's command cancel. Uh, it could be whatever you want it to be called. So this could be called like listbox two, but over here on cancel, uh, for the caption I wrote cancel. So that's the word that appears on here. It doesn't change anything. It's just a descriptive word. Um, so over here on the toolbox, I added a list box, which is over here, which lets you select a single value. The combo box lets you select multiple values. Uh, the checkbox is a Boolean, which is true or false. Um, the command button has like an, a click event or other events that you can select. Um, you could do like on hover, or on double click to get different things to happen when you select the different things. And then you could have multi-page if you want to have like multiple pages on your user form or even more options. So if you go to view and toolbox, uh, you can insert an image. Uh, over here, you could change like the background color of the user form, but this is all extra stuff. So if you click here on the list box, um, so user form when you initialize over here, so when it loads, basically you want this name, so type name here, is that, so it's A1 to A9, so uh, basically it fills in the list box with that name from over here, so type name here, if you click edit. It's A1 to A9, so I'm going to get A10 now by editing it. And then now it will include student 10 on it when I click here. So to get out of design mode, you click here. And uh, on the user form, I also have the can cancel button. So on the click event for this, I have unload me, which unloads the user form. And uh, for all the different events you could assign to, this is command cancel, so that's the cancel button. And then it was just the event underscore click. So that's a quick way to navigate workbooks and to fill in uh, things. So I'll just show when I click student one, 01 will equal one. So you get certain things to happen when you select from like a, a list of different values. So it's another way to like program logic into uh, your worksheets, you can watch my video.